Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. I mean, it's Saturday. Dropped off my brother to work. Went to yeah, Yorkdale. Like, they, they um, I'm saying Yorkdale like you guys know what Yorkdale is, but Yorkdale is a mall back, here. You know I, mean? I went to the mall I and the, I went to make an appointment so I can seconds. fix my phone. Here's my phone. Oh, kitchen. This is the iPhone 6S in rose gold. And basically, I updated my phone to iOS oh, 11. Facts. Right. And I don't know if you guys are having that issue too, but a lot of people here are having that issue because there was a huge lineup to make appointments for the battery. And I'm going to be fixing my battery in a week because I could have done that today, but well, stupid me, I didn't think that I was going to lose all of my stuff. But the lady was saying that there is a possibility and a chance that everything will be gone. So I didn't want to risk it and I decided to just book an appointment for a week later. So I have to deal with my bad battery for a week. And when I say bad battery, I updated my phone to iOS 11 and now my battery and my phone dies at 80%. I charge my phone. I didn't even have my phone for a year yet. My warranty still on and i didn't even have my phone for a whole year yet and it's still kind of effed up now because i updated to ios 11 and i feel like a lot of people are having that issue i even talked to one of the guys who work at the apple store and they said that yeah a lot of people are having that issue too so now i gotta go fix my iphone battery but i'm going to do that next week and it's just very dodgy like it's very dodgy right now <laughs> Here's what I'm eating. This is the fully loaded baked potato from Wendy's. And oh my god, I ate half of it and this was literally so full to the point where the bottom was kind of like soft and wow. it felt like it was sinking in. But they really went all out on the fully loaded with the sour cream and then it got me some butter. And there's my doggy. So cute, look at him. But anyways, today I went to a new pet store that just recently opened close by to my house. And they have a lot of good stuff that I've never seen before. And a lot of American branded stuff that I couldn't get here. So I will show you guys what I got for him after I'm done eating. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Okay, so we actually went to Ren's uh, Pet Depot. And I think this is also American because I'm not sure if it's American, but I have a feeling that it is American. A lot of American branded stores or American like founded stores are coming to Toronto. I'm assuming it's American because I've never heard of it before. And this is like the first time hearing about it and like i said there are a few american branded stuff that i said that i found at the store and then one of them is actually fruitable which is what i bought for miko so here is the three things that i got they had such a good deal and no i am not sponsored um but they had a really good deal so look my dog <laughs> anyway so this is the brand that i really wanted to try for my dog from the start but i didn't really want to order it online because i didn't know you know how it would be or whatever this is fruitables natural dog treats this is pumpkin and banana it's healthy and it's 100 percent natural and it's also crunchy and they do have a soft version of this as well so i got the crunchy ones because i don't know it's just something different my dog really likes the soft and easy to bite easy to swallow kind of treats but i was like okay let me just get him something different maybe he'll like it they have soft ones as well and a lot of other flavors they also had a pumpkin spice one which i think next time i will try oh well my dog will try i um, mean and these ones were on sale it's buy one get one half off or buy one get one free or something like that it's by pet cure pet Kirian. i think that's what the brand is and these are like beef jerky type things gluten free and grain free got the duck one and the turkey one and my dog tried the turkey one he really likes it and it's very easy to chew good for like older dogs and also good for you know small dogs because they don't really have the strongest teeth to bite through treats that are really really stiff and hard and then these ones are good too he tried them and he really liked them a little bit hard for him to bite but he just chewed it up until it got really soggy and then he ate them 